Move Against Cancer Africa, MACA, a volunteer-based NGO, has taken a medical outreach on lung cancer to Piwoye community in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. Mr. Isaac Joseph, public health epidemiologist and patient advocate, who led the team, said the outreach was part of MACA's advocacy and education initiative to bridge existing gaps on lung cancer-related issues. Today, this initiative was born as a result of um, the advocacy award I won from the International Association for the Study of Lung Cancer. So they put up this in, in collaboration with MACA that we should go into the community to do awareness on lung cancer, things that affect the lungs, the risk factors, the signs and symptoms. We should tell the community how to protect their health so that they would not come down with lung cancer. Dr. Ndubisi Anumenechi, a cardiothoracic surgeon, told none on the sideline of the outreach that symptoms associated with lung cancer are similar to other diseases. The problem with lung cancer is that it's one of the deadliest cancers in the world. So the percentage of people that die with lung cancer is higher than the percentage of people that die in other cancers. We need to watch and make sure our environment are not polluted, especially the air we breathe. So this community awareness is a right step. A pharmacist from NACA, Kemi Oluwabohu, told now that although lung cancer was real, it could be prevented. I want to encourage the Nigerians out there your health cannot be replaced with anything. Health, like they say, is wealth. So it's important that we come for a regular health check, even when we are not feeling well, even when we have, you know, we look sound, we look okay. It's good to say, come to the facility, do a blood, a pr blood pressure check, check your sugar level, just to be sure that, okay, this body walking up and down, because you need to keep this body healthy. If not, you'll not be able to, you know, actually fulfill what you have come to here to do. So health really is indeed wealth. Earlier, Mrs. Sidikatu Abdusalami, head of the health center, thanked Maka for bringing the outreach to the community. They should continue this type of advocacy to the community, any community, to create awareness to them, to know that yes, this cancer is real happening, but how they can prevent it? Please, they should help community for advocacy, create awareness. Some of the beneficiaries who spoke with Nan also expressed delight for the opportunity to know their health status. So I am pleading and urging everybody to try, even if it's once in a month, you try and check your body. Every